What are you eating, madam? You eating your clothes? The coconut oil I put on your face. I I applied the coconut oil. No mercy. <coughs> no, no mercy. <coughs> Hello. Hello, baby girl. We're going to take BCG. Are you ready? Are you ready to cry? And I'm half inside the bath, and we're ready for our BCG. Let's go for BCG. Doing chicken sauce. Chicken sauce appointment. Yeah, she was like almost a month when we had BCG. Then Cassie, Cassie had BCG in the hospital because of COVID, so we're limiting contact. So we had Cassie's BCG in the hospital. So Chine Yangwa, your BCG is today. Dun, 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 dun. This girl is getting big. Like she's I need to climb the scale and carry her. I don't have I don't have um baby scale. So I'll carry the scale. I will climb the scale, weigh myself, then carry her to know her weight now. I'm sure she's up to 4 kg now. <laughs> oh the sucky sucky. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh the breast milk. Hmm? Baby girl. Mwah, 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 mwah. She's reacting to smiles a little. Can't wait for when when you do them this and they start smiling. Now they are newborn, newborn stage. So let's go for this. See my eyes. Didn't sleep on this night. I had beans yesterday evening. So the beans, the beans and her fat. So the fat was disturbing her. But the good thing is that I know the reason why she's crying because of the type of cry, the sound of the cry. You understand? So although we didn't sleep, we're just rotating and massaging stomach so the fat will be coming on. <laughs> she woke up around 11 30 to 12 and we slept around 2 30 like normal normal sleep. Hello <coughs> so let's go let's go inside the car so we arrived at the appointment venue it's about 35 minutes drive away from the house Going out in the morning, like morning appointment with the newborn, it's really not easy because you barely have enough sleep at night and you just want to get ready to catch up with an appointment in the morning. So we got there and we spoke to the receptionist and they were like, okay, they can't find our name on the list for those with, um, having BCG today. I was like, no way. So I showed them the confirmation email and I also received a call yesterday and because of that, they had to just squeeze us in. Because I don't even have the strength to come for another appointment, like a rescheduled appointment. So we had the BCG, she just cried a little cry and she continued her sleep. I said, This cat, I said, Cassie. She's a good sleeper and she was just fine all through. Although they told us that we are not expecting the temperature because they are too young to have that. And even if they do, we can just give them a call. So we advise not to give any carpal, paracetamol or ibuprofen because they are too little to have any of those medications. <laughs> Our next vaccination would be in six weeks time and then baby should be like eight weeks old and that vaccination is likely to trigger um, a fever and a high temperature which is now the best time to give baby um, the medication like paracetamol. So we headed back home and she was still sleeping, she wasn't cranky, she wasn't unsettled, it was just okay. I'm not eating anything that will make me gassy anymore because it's really affecting the baby. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.